Hey guys, it's me coming back with my uh, what I colored for August, the month of August. And I'm just going to start out with I know this is not a coloring page, but I wanted to go ahead and just share this. Um, I just drew it regular pencil and then I went over it with, um, yeah. I used, oh my gosh, what are those pencils? Um, pastels, pencils, just a black pastel pencil. And then I used uh, white as well, white pastel. And then these are some girls that I drew in the past. I like her, she's cute. Little alien girl. <laughs> okay. So that's that. And then, oh, let me put this back in. Well, where'd it go? There it is. Okay, there's that. And then I have <clears throat> One Color Mandala by uh, Sun Life Drawing. I'm not really a fan of this. I don't know if it's the paper. I mean, I usually don't have too much of an issue with this kind of paper, but I don't know something about this book. I just don't really care for. I think though, what I have, what I need to do is just use um, maybe some glitter gel pens and no markers. Maybe I don't know. But this one, I just I can't stand the color palette. I don't like anything about it. But I did this one on the fifth of August. So there's that one. I started this one and then I noticed that the markers were bleeding really bad so I just kind of stopped. Stopped working on that one and then I did this one in all glitter gel pen and I kind of like it the way it turned out. I don't know if you guys can see the glitter or not but I did that one. I put the date on upside down on the 7th of August. I think that's it. Yeah. That's all I've done. Yeah, but I'm not really too big of a fan of this one. I mean, I st I'll still color in it, but it won't be my first choice. Okay, and then I have the Welt unter der Lupe Zulande by Rita Berman. I don't know how to pronounce any of that, so I don't know if I got any of it right or not, but anyway. I did this page. I used several different mediums on this page. I'm not even sure. Why does some of this look yellow? That's weird. Um, I can't remember what I used on this. I know that I used the um, what is that stuff called? I'm sorry you guys. Hold on. I'm like the Mod Podge, the glitter, the extreme glitter. I did spread some of it out on here. I used the um, glaze pen, not the black, but the clear. And um, some white Posca. Took some white, um, I believe it was either this or the Windsor and Newton. Um, and just kind of splattered it all over to make it look like snow. I can't remember the pencils I used, and I wish I would have remembered because I like how those turned out. They kind of look, I don't know. Oh, I think I used the Pro Colors, the Derwent Pro Colors on this. Yes, I'm positive I did. And then the background was just uh, the Neo Color 2s, Derwent Neo, or the, yeah, Neo Color 2s. Yeah! And there's that page, and I did that on the 16th of August. And I don't know if you guys can see the shine, but I love, I like, I don't know. Some people don't like how the, the shine on pages, but I love it. My husband likes it too. <clears throat> but there's that one. I like this book a lot. It's a cute book. Okay, and then I have um, Women... Art Grayscale Coloring Book by Rachel Mintz. I hope this whole book is like in the frame. It's hard for me to 
to tell because I can't see because I'm using my phone. I should probably use my camera more. But anyway, I did her. And I used the Spear, whoops, sorry, I hit the camera. The Spear Farbens on her skin and the rose and this. The background is soft pastels. Her hair is um, the Derwent pastel pencils. And that's it. And I did this one on the 25th and I really like this page. It's really plain and you know, there's nothing like spectacular about it, but I really like it. I think it looks nice. And I, I like this book a lot. It's got a lot of pretty pages in it. Yeah, I don't like that one, but that, look at that. It's, it's just gorgeous. It's got a lot of really pretty pages. But yes, I've had this book for a while. Um, and I forgot to do the, no, actually... You know what? I think I will go ahead and put this in September's. Um, nah, I won't. I was going to say Lavelia's um, hashtag or tag, hashtag thing that she has going on. The color your hoard. I was going to put it in there. I may still. I don't know. Because I colored it at the end of the month. So This one I did for um, Angel Cova in August. Um, and it's just the 100 beautiful mandalas and I did this one it is all oops, marker and I think I used oh hoo hoo's and then glitter gel pen and I did not put the date on this one that's unfortunate but I like that color palette and I keep hitting the camera. I'm so sorry. And then this one I did on the 9th of August and it was for Angel Cova in August. Also, I used Prismacolor markers and Cali Art glitter gel pens. I don't know if you guys can see the glitter, but there's that one. I like that one too. And then this one... Oh no, yeah, yeah. This one I did on the 30th, so I went ahead and um, am including it in August pages, and it was also for Angel Cova in August. And I did that with Ohuhu alcohol markers and a little bit of the silver um, gel pen. And that is all I've done in that book, and I need to remove my little cutting mat that I used to put behind my pages <clears throat> and then I have Insect Imaginary by Ruby Charm Colors this is an adult coloring art journal by Susan Carlson and I'm not really fond of this page but I think I liked it better before I did the Oh, circle-y background. I did this one on August 7th. I don't remember what I used and I don't think I wrote it down anywhere either. Well, I need to get better at that. Okay, but yeah, I did that one. I like this book too. It's got a, it's got a lot of cool, like look at that. You can make these bugs really pretty. It's, it's a cool book. I like it. And then I did one in um, a steampunk coloring book mystery, The Search for the Light Bulb Burglar by David Haben. And I did this one. And I used quite a few things on here. I used Spear Farben. I used gel pen. I used this uh, all-purpose frost white ink for the clouds and I also used uh, white Posca. I used Neocolor 2's for the background. 
Um, is that all I used? Oh, I also used the Neo Color Ones, the that are just like crayons. I used those also on the stripes that go down and on the rusty look, rusty parts. And I think that is it. And I did this one on August the 31st. But I like that one too. I love this book. It's got a lot of cute images in it as well. It's cool. But again, that was The Search for the Light Bulb Burglar by David Haben. And then I did one in Spirit Animals. Did I mark it? Oh, it was this one. And if you guys are on my Instagram, you would have seen that. Um, I did a color along um, that Zucchini Kitty on YouTube was doing. I did this on the 9th. The background is just black acrylic paint. I used white Posca. I used Prismacolors for the um, dragonfly and the flowers. And I used some stickles and some of my uh, Ganzai Tambi paints for the wings. <coughs> Excuse me. But there's that. This one was a lot of fun too. I liked doing it. But I like this book a lot. I love Hannah Carlson's books. So that again was Spirit Animals by Hannah Carlson. And then we have Intricate, I'm sorry, Intricate Ink Animals in Detail Volume 2 by Tim Jeffs. And I did the ones I did. Sorry. I obviously did not mark them. I did the butterfly and I did this on 828. And I have I used the Galaxy Glitter by Deco Art for the black background. The background was already black so I just had to smear it on. And then I used um, some I thought I wrote it down, but I guess not. But I used my Copic markers for this. <clears throat> and again, I did that on 828. Okay, and then I did this hummingbird which hummingbirds are very meaningful to me because my mom loved hummingbirds and I just love them. I think they're precious. But again, I just used um, my Copic markers and then I also used some of the Sparkle Pop pen for the red and um, the greenish, the bright green colors on him and some white gel pen and I did not write the date that I think I did this on the same day that I did the butterfly though because they were really quick I did it on the 828 so there he is okay and then last but not least I have a PDF and it of course, I didn't write down what I used on it. It was this one. And she reminds me <laughs> so much of Cher from, I know everybody has said it, but she just does. From the movie, what's that movie called, Michael? My gosh. Do you remember? Uh, the movie? Movie. With Cher in it, not the star Cher, but oh my gosh, 
Yes, clueless. I'm sorry. Man, my mind, my brain has been mush lately. We've been, I've been doing tons of overtime and it's been extremely busy and whew, let me tell you, it's been rough. But if it wasn't for my husband and Franny, I don't know that I would have made it. But anyway, I'm pretty sure from the looks of it that I used, what did I use? No, I don't think I did. I am not honestly not sure what I used on this, y'all. First, I thought it was Prismacolor, but I'm honestly not sure. But I just made this. I could not figure out what it was supposed to be because this is not what it looked like in the in the actual picture when I printed out the PDF. So I just made it look like the bottom of the building, and I put little cracks and stuff in it. But and the grass is. Uh, pa uh, pastels, soft pastels, along with the trees, and I just did some shading and left it at that. But there she is. And oh, I'm sorry, this is by Hannah Lynn. It's the um, what was it? Something through the decades. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. I need to get more prepared before I start these videos. But anyway, guys, that's all I've colored for the month of August. I didn't do as much. Um, I have started a couple things for September already. Hopefully, I'll have them done by the time <laughs> October comes around. So, that is it. That is all that I've done. So, alright, I will... Um, talk to you guys in my next video. I hope you guys are doing well. Staying safe. We are doing the best we can. Um, here's a sneak peek of one that I'm starting to work on. It's a PDF that I printed out and I'm starting on one in the Bell Jardin also. Okay, that's it guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. You guys stay safe and have a great weekend. Bye.